Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Hello everybody. You know when it comes to fishing, it's really funny how we sometimes think all the misconceptions, the doubts, the techniques that will and won't work. The reasons we're not successful that particular day, the excuses we make, oh my gosh, it goes on and on. Take for instance, the trend in one of America's favorite bass lures, the spinnerbait. The trend in these lures leans toward bigger, heavier bottles. And believe me, each one of these has their place. It's the same with the tiny ones. They also have their place. And that's what we're going to be discussing as we fish along today. It really surprises me just how many avid bass anglers think that these little guys are only for beginners with push button reels and light action rods. <laughs> well, believe me, that's not the case. I have great success fishing them on my regular spinning rod, a six and a half foot medium action equipped with a 20 size reel spooled with 10 to 12 pound test line. In fact, I know some anglers that fish them with bait casting gear, and that's what I'll be using today. All right, tell you what, let's ease along down through here and see what we can do. There's one. Better, better one right there. Yes, sir, that's a nice in there. Got in that motor, didn't you? Look at that big old fish right there, that little. Ooh. Gotta go easy with you. Look at that blade just turning. <laughs> I think I got you down where I can get a hold of you. You like that one? <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Boy. He went to town with it, didn't he? <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, what a nice one. See you, boy. Thank you. Let me tell you, these little guys really shine when bass are inactive. During these turnoff periods, bass have the tendency to not respond fast enough to smack a half ounce or even a quarter ounce spinner bait. But an eighth ounce, or 3 16th ounce size can be a completely different story. The size and the movement is the key. The mini size lure moves slowly, giving the bass plenty of time to eat it. Got you, got you, got you, got you. <laughs> I say you're about four pounds. Maybe you're about three. There you go. You through? <laughs> Come on back. He's about, he's close to four pounds. Aren't you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> In his body, he's been shining, he's been shallow. Ta ta, old buddy. Thank you. Dance Outdoors, sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. 
and by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is sponsored by Outdoor Water Solutions, offering pond and lake aeration systems with energy-saving solutions, including solar and wind, customized to fit your need. Visit OutdoorWaterSolutions.com for quality aeration products. Got another heavy fish right here. Oh man. Ooh, look here, here. Hold him a little bit. Close to the top, they get mad. Oh, come on back, come on back. Ah, big old thing. Come here. Come here. Come here. Woo! Easy. I know it. I'm gonna let you go. If I can just get that little, that little hook. It's something. And so are you. There. We're going home. Yes, we are. Another advantage to using this size bait, it's the type of lure that you can fish through shallow cover without creating a lot of commotion. Many times when you retrieve a larger spinner bait, like a half ounce or even a 3 8 ounce size through cover like a treetop or a brush, and the lure size and weight bangs against its limbs and pops and swings out, then snaps back, and it does at times attracts reflex strikes from a few active bass. But a crash and bang retrieve through cover can make bass eye tailing. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. Hard pulling rascal. Back around under the boat. There's a toughie right there. Ooh. Boy. You through? All right, come here. Little toughie here. Open up. Look at that. About three pounds, three, three and a half. Where we go? Many anglers know that bass have become very selective in their feeding habits, and the object of being able to present a smaller bait that has the same appeal as a larger bait has definitely helped me catch more fish. This applies to any artificial lure I'm fishing, worms, topwater, crankbaits, or whatever. Today's show is brought to you in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, Quantum Performance Tuned.
Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination. And Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley, Catch More Fish. Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. And by Garmin, Fight Your Fish, Not Your Fish Finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Trolling motor. Got in it. There he's out of it. That's three of it. That's three out of that grass bed right there. Watch it. Watch it. Nice one. Pretty baby. I've seen many times when you have to downsize your offering to trigger a strike from finicky fish. Now when this happens, this small Bass Pro Shop 316th ounce crappie spin is usually what I switch to if I'm spinnerbait fishing. This little bait comes with a one aught hook and some people say, why well, the hook's too small to handle a good sized fish? Well, that's a bunch of hooey. <clears throat> As you can see, we're catching some quality sized fish on it. This little bait is needle sharp and it will handle good sized fish. Another thing the little bait has that some fishermen question is this little R bin right here. They think after you catch quite a few fish on it, it'll break. Well, I've never had a problem with it. If you ever worry about it and the line sliding past the R bend, just compress it, untie your line, compress it right here, and slip an O-ring over it, and then let it pop back out. And that O-ring will stay right there in place, and your line's never gonna slide either way. It's gonna stay right there in place. So, there's a lot of misconceptions about these baits. They're too small, the hook's too small, the R-bend won't work, the R-bend will break. Now many anglers seem to have the notion that these small size spinnerbaits are only best during the spring season. But believe me, that is absolutely false. Anytime you're dealing with inactive bass, it's a great choice when spinnerbait fishing. Don't let this size fool you. Today we're catching our fish in a depth of two to five feet. But here's something you need to always remember. It's not uncommon during the day for fish like the bass to change depth levels for a multitude of reasons. When this occurs, here's a little trick that'll really help you out. Keep using the bait they prefer, but switch to a different blade model. There's one. Whoa. Pretty bass right there. Oh, buddy. What have you done?
come back here. Dance question and answer of the week is brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light salt water, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Does anyone make a rod holder for a rectangular rail that comes on some pontoon boats? Yep, they do. Millennium Marine. This rod holder is universal to fit most boat railings, regardless if they're round, square, or flat and has 180 to 360 degree rod adjustments. Made with anodized aluminum and comes with a one year warranty. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley, catch more fish. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. And by Garmin, bite your fish, not your fish finder. Bill Dance question and answer of the week is brought to you by Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light salt water, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Does anyone make a rod holder for a rectangular rail that comes on some pontoon boats? Yep, they do. Millennium Marine. This rod holder is universal to fit most boat railings regardless if they're round, square, or flat and has 180 to 360 degree rod adjustments. Made with anodized aluminum and comes with a one year warranty. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. I've got a bass on. Yes, oh, yes, I do. It's coming right at me again. In the, oh, yeah, look at here. Hey, Buster. Pretty shaped fish right there. Look at it. You hooked up there pretty good, ain't you, Buster? You don't like that bait in your mouth, do you? Come on back. Well, I'm gonna fix it where you do like it, okay? Ow. I'm gonna fix it where you do like it. Ah. Well, you got it on down in there. Look at that. Okay. I wonder what's going through his mind, or her mind. The key with any fishing lure you use is to establish the correct presentation when you're using it. Take for instance the lure I'm using today. At this time and location, a slow steady retrieve is best. At another time and location, the best presentation might be running it just under the surface. And at other times, retrieving it a short distance and stopping it, allowing it to free fall a foot or two before reeling it again. Another situation when this little guy really shines is on heavily pressured water. Just using something different than everybody else can make a big difference. It may be a twist on traditional techniques, but trust me, it's more apt to stand out to fish than the same old, 
same old. Give the fish a look they haven't seen countless times before. Fishing is a game you nearly always need to experiment. Try things that are very uncommon. Sometimes these trials will really surprise you. Disruptor. There you go, that's a nice start there. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh. fish right there. That's a big one. They like that little bait, don't they? What a lure. <laughs> it's really unique. Like I said, it may not always be my first choice of spinnerbaits, but in many situations, it can't be beat. Tell you what, you need to give one a fling and see what you think. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.